Hey folks, today is May the 3rd. I'm going to go ahead and do my value trader, no trader final review. If you guys recall, we actually did our testing with this system from April the 1st through April the 30th. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up our uh, profit and loss statement for that period. One moment, folks. Let me get this set up. I'll also say I did trade uh, smaller lot sizes with this, mainly because of the uh, learning curve with no trader. All right, here it is. You guys can see here, 4.1 through 4.30, 2,100. There it is there. And that's not bad. Like I said, we traded a lot of times um, two or three contracts. And as you can see here, no trader is a lot more complicated than value trader. Not value trader, but scalp trader. And like I said, that's why I decided to take smaller contract sizes with a lot of these trades that I took. As you can see here, there are... I think 12 different 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, yeah, there are about 12 different uh, prints that we can take. And there's also the manual low volume node trades. You also have the um, price, uh, average price right here. You have the high volume node right here, which is basically the um, place where the highest uh, number of contracts were traded at any given time. So, there's just so much to learn with this system. And for the average person that hasn't gone through the manual or gone through the videos looking at this, it just, it looks like a hot mess. I can say that most likely it does. But once you go through all of the uh, um, training that you guys are going to get, once you ask questions and, you know, get the hang of things, everything here will make sense to you. I can promise you that. It'll just take some time to get used to. And like I said, that's mainly why I decided to trade smaller lot sizes, you know, going through it as I uh, wasn't as comfortable as I was just trading the scalp trades which is basically here's an aggressive scalp trade and here's a regular scalp trade and that's it if you get the scalp trader system you won't have all of this other stuff to confuse you okay regular scalp trader system is much much less complicated put it like that um also want to see here i was going to add 470 dollars to this but i don't think i'm going to the 470 came from this day here where my uh, technical problems kind of took over the entire day. Basically, my recording software um, stopped me from closing a trade or from closing a pending order. With Scalp Trader, once you enter your pending order, if you're not filled on the next bar, you shut it down, you close it. But I wasn't able to do that because my recording software actually froze my screen. It also stopped me from taking several trades that happened later. But by the time my screen unfroze, of course, I was entered into the trade and I was $470 uh, to the negative. So I just went ahead and closed the trade, took that loss. But you guys can either, you know, count that in your minds. Um, you can take it away because obviously you guys aren't going to have the issue that I did. You won't have a recording software that's going to freeze your screen, you know. So either way, either I made $2,100, you know trading some pretty small lots or I made $2,500 without that error that I just mentioned to you guys. So either way, we were up nicely for the uh, month. All right, let's go ahead and move on to some of the uh, questions that you guys were sending in to me. All right, what is the cost of Node Trader? Let me pull up the website here real quick. All right, what you guys can do is just go to the home page. And let's see here, products, no trader. All right, as you can see here, 997 is the cost. Can I pay in installments? This is something uh, a lot of people did not know about. I'm glad I'm able to uh, bring this to your attention here. Go back to the home page. <clears throat> All right, if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see no trader easy pay. And basically, what that is, you'll pay. $300 or something like that up front. So either, I believe, $300 or $399 up front. And then the rest is split up into, I think, uh, three or four equal payments over the next three or four months. So you guys will definitely have time to uh, pay for the system over time. That's another option if you should uh, choose to go that route. I know that would help a lot of people get started with the system. All right. What is the most profitable day of the week? Obviously, this system does work extremely well Monday through Friday, but I've just noticed myself personally after the uh, crude oil inventories report, you do get just back-to-back -back winning trades, and that is just mainly because of the, um, 
the market is pushing in whatever direction that the news pushed it. Okay, so it's just an advantageous time for us to uh, basically ride that wave. Highly profitable. You know, I've gone back 14 weeks and I've been astounded at, you know, the number of winning trades that come after these uh, news releases with CL. So definitely check out um, the crude oil inventories report on Wednesdays. And this is an event, like I said, it happens every week. So even if you said to yourself, I want to get this system and just trade the most high probability setups, Wednesday after the uh, news would be that most high probability setup, okay? Just my opinion, okay? All right, what is the cost of the trade room? Trade room is free. Um, there are trade rooms out there that are four or $500, but this one is, uh, luckily for us, no cost. And the thing of it is, he's not calling trades in the room, okay? If he did call trades in the room, eventually people would get to a point where they just pretty much copy whatever he did. And that's not the purpose of this trade room. The purpose is for us to um, get familiar with the system, to ask questions during the trading day, you know, because obviously you're going to have more questions while you're actually using the system as opposed to, you know, on a weekend or whatever. So the trade room is definitely a benefit to you. All right. What instruments does no trader trade? NQ and CL. Though I will admit um, in the trade room, we mostly talk about the CL. What account size is recommended to start with? That's going to depend on your broker and what your margins are. But for me, I think for NQ to trade one contract, I need at least 300 in my account. And to trade CL for, to trade one contract, I need at least 900 in my account. So those are my margins. So you'll definitely want to check with your broker and see what your margins are. All right, is Node Trader difficult to learn? It is a lot more complicated than Scalp Trader. Like I said, there are just a lot more variables to this system. You know, it, I'm not going to go over everything again, but yes, the system is much more complicated to learn. I'll just put it like that. And nah, I won't just leave it at that because a lot of people might think that it's uh, too complicated to learn or something like that. Let me pull this up real quick. Let's go back to the uh, Node Trader website real quick. Hold on one second, guys. For some reason I'm having issues. All right, so my Firefox isn't pulling up for some reason, but anyway, go ahead and check out the Value Trader website. I want you guys to see his results on a daily basis you know definitely check that out and you'll notice that he very rarely has losing days he has an extremely high winning rate with this system so if you have to ask yourself is it worth learning this system taking the time to learn it I would say yes it is gonna take time you are gonna have to ask lots of questions I'm at you know I think three months now with this system and I still you know learn new things about it so don't be upset with yourself like I said if you don't you know start trading like him you know on the second day of getting your chart set up it's not gonna happen trust me it is not going to happen so is no trader difficult to learn yes but is it worth taking the time to learn it yes okay after I order are there any freebies um there are actually gonna be three freebies that you guys are gonna have access to that is the low volume node oscillator and I can pull that up real quick that's what this is down here and I can explain a little bit about that. These are low volume nodes. And one of the opportunities we have with this system is to take manual low volume node trades. And for example, we have a green one here. So that's a buy setup. And the only time we'll take a low volume node trade to the buy side is if this oscillator is above zero. So here, market came down to this level. Node, the uh, oscillator is above zero. So this would have been a safe trade to take. And obviously our risk to reward is going to be one to one we would have risked uh, 10 ticks to make 10 ticks and that's another thing I wanted to mention um, with scalp trader your uh, risk to reward ratio is typically going to be you know 12 or 13 tick for a stop you know and around seven or eight ticks for your uh, uh, first profit target but obviously you're gonna have plenty of other profit target setups here but with a lot of the other Prints that you're going to get like trend trades with trend trades I've seen it as high as you know a 10 tick stop worth a 15 tick uh, profit target and that's the first profit target I've seen them as high as a 10 tick stop and a you know 30 tick profit target you know so it's gonna vary depending on what type of prints you have but you're definitely gonna have some good opportunities and your risk to reward ratios do improve a lot depending on what type of um, prints you're looking at taking okay 
And I think there are two more freebies here. Let me see. All right, the ticks remaining uh, timer down here. You guys are going to get that free. You'll also get a new bar type, the SVE Rinko bars. And that's what the uh, vendor and a lot of the people in the trade room use. And it does do extremely well based on the results that I've seen them use with it. I'm using a 300 tick chart, and I've been doing extremely well with that. So you do have options. And every time he uh, comes out with an update, you guys get those free. All right. Let's go ahead and move on here. Customer support. Typically, I'll ask my questions in the trade room, but I have also talked to him uh, through Skype chat. I've also talked to him through email. Um, typically, with email, you're going to get a response in 10 to 15 minutes if it's Monday through Friday. Obviously, the fastest way to uh, contact him is going to be through the trade room. But definitely go ahead and shoot him an email if it's Monday through Friday, and you'll see what I'm talking about, folks. You'll always get a response relatively quickly here. And he's not on Skype a lot, so um, I'll see him on there usually two or three times a week, but he doesn't stay on long, so Skype's not really going to be uh, your best bet to contact him. But 10 to 15 minutes through email isn't bad at all. Or if you're in the trade room, just ask your questions uh, there. You'll get them answered instantly so uh, no issues whatsoever as far as that goes alright so the only thing left remaining to uh, talk about is do I recommend the system or not obviously yes and actually I'm gonna pull this up something I failed to mention here this up here the main thing you're gonna wanna notice up here is risk per trade and is trade risk okay and if you come in here to indicators you'll see what you're gonna do is into your account size trading capital right here um, how much do you want to risk per trade put that there total number of slippage that is okay with you and the max contracts that you're able to trade alright and once you put that in the system does everything for you it tells you up here what your maximum risk is going to be it tells you if your uh, trade is okay to trade if your risk is okay to take on any particular trade it gives you the number of contracts that you are going to be taking for every print it tells you where your stop is going to be which is right here this uh, little red plus sign it tells you where your entry price is going to be this first uh, little green plus sign it gives you three profit targets one two three so this system basically does everything for you and all you have to do is take the prints and for the manual low volume no trades um, you basically want to make sure you're not taking trades into levels of support or resistance and you're given that as well because all you have to do here is uh, look and see if there's a buying or selling zone above or below you or if there's a buying or selling node above or below you depending on you know what type of trade you're taking if you're taking a buy trade you don't want a bunch of red up here okay if you're taking a sell trade you don't want to see all this green down here you don't want to push or have to push into these levels okay hopefully that's uh common sense to you guys hopefully that makes sense so I definitely recommend it I think it's uh, something you're gonna have to take some time to learn but I definitely think it's worth learning all right to get more information on Node Trader, simply visit the uh, Value Trader website if you need to like I said you can simply use the split payments to go ahead and get started with it um, let me see here for more information on that should say no trader so definitely uh, just click the link below and you guys can get more information on that. If you have any questions, of course, I'm always here to help. I can also help you guys get set up with um, um, putting the indicators on your charts and everything like that. It's not difficult. They do give you a lot of the information uh, in the manual and stuff. But if you guys have any questions, I'm, I guess you could say I'm just a second line of defense. So I'm always here to help. Anyway, that's going to be it, folks. And hopefully I'll have uh, more videos in the future. Have a great weekend. Actually, today's the last day of the weekend, so uh, have a great Monday. Take care, folks.